Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Carpenter and I'm a photographer and a videographer based out of Nashville, Tennessee. A couple days ago I posted a video where I discussed some of my first impressions of the brand new Panasonic Lumix G85. If you haven't already checked that video out, you can find a link right here. One issue that a lot of G85 users have been dealing with is the camera not stabilizing properly when panning in video mode. Good news, Panasonic just released an update yesterday that'll resolve that issue. I personally didn't find much of a problem with the stabilizer, but I wanted to make sure my camera was up to date, so I went to the link that Panasonic provided via their Instagram page, and I went ahead and downloaded it. I've included that link in the description below. Now I'm a Mac user, and I downloaded the update on this MacBook here, which happens to have the latest operating system installed. I did run into a couple issues along the way, so here are a couple quick tips for any Mac users out there that might run into the same issues. So first off, don't use Safari. I initially downloaded the update using Safari, and instead of downloading a zip file, it downloaded a bin file, which your computer won't recognize. So to fix that problem, I opened up Google Chrome, and I opened up the same link, downloaded the same file, and everything worked just fine. Uh, just make sure that you have your pop-up blocker disabled, or else you're gonna run into some issues there. So one thing to keep in mind is that you're downloading the right update for your camera. When you click on the download link, you'll actually be given three options, one for the uh, G80, one for the G81, and one for the G85. So depending on where you're located, make sure you're downloading the correct file. So once you've downloaded and extracted the file on your computer, the update process is pretty straightforward from there. So you'll want to insert an SD card that has recently been formatted on your G85. So drag the uncompressed firmware update onto the root folder of the SD card. Now once you've inserted your card back into your camera, power it on and push the green play button on the back of your camera. You'll then be prompted with a dialog box asking if you want to complete the update or not. Just click yes and you'll be on your way. Now some of you may be wondering if it's really worth going through all this trouble to update the firmware on your camera, and if it really makes a big difference. Well I decided to test it out for you. As you can see, the clip recorded before the update is just a little shaky and a tad jittery, and the one after is silky smooth. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. If you want to see more videos like this, click on that subscribe button right down there. Also, head over to Instagram and give us a follow, at Media. Hope you all have a great day, and keep on creating.